Hi guys, in this video and in a series of videos that I'm going to be doing is about Excel text functions. In this one, uh, it might seem that this isn't a text function because we want to see whether the content of a cell is a number or not. But this will feed in to next videos where we'll be looking at more complex methods of doing very practical things but this is one of the building blocks so if you watch this one and it seems as though this might be non-practical just uh, be patient and move on to the other videos after you've understood this one and you'll see how this actually becomes a very useful tool when it gets nested inside of other functions okay and unless you already have a reason to learn to uh, use this and uh, in which case uh, e go right ahead and uh, and jump into uh, using this for some other reason and I'd, I'd be happy to uh, if you'd share that uh, with with me because I found a few uses for it but anyway let's jump right in and let's just learn this for the sake of itself in this video uh, so is number basically is a function that's gonna test if the content of a cell is a number and over here in column one I've made a column of different types of inputs. So I have a, clearly a number, clearly text, clearly a character, ah, questionable, a number with text in it. Same here, pure text again, a empty space, a blank cell in other words, and a number with a space and another number. And then in this cell, it's, as you'll see as I click in it, it's a reference to another cell. So we have a lot, if not all, the different types of contents that we can have in a cell in Excel. So let's see how this function is number treats these contents. So equals is number, and I'm going to refer to the cell on the left, B5, and we get a true as expected for the first row. A false as expected, a false, here's where it starts getting interesting false interesting so if there's any text in there it's not a number as far as this numbers as far as this function is concerned likewise for the next one and obviously for the next one now let's see how it treats space false okay that makes perfect sense and then a number space a number false it's not a number okay excel's not going to treat this as a number so that's that's good to know when you use this function you know what to expect and finally, a reference, which is B5, we're referring to the first cell, and we could even say plus one, doesn't matter, is treated as a number. So, with a complete understanding of the sub functions, or I would say if the feeder functions, even though you could find a use for this uh, purely of itself, this one really tends to lend itself to be nested inside other functions, like the if function like the search function and so forth but by fully understanding this in isolation it's going to prepare us to much better apply it to uh, problems that we may have in the real world uh, where you have to think you have to you have to be creative and come up with these solutions so these are, this is a good tool to have in your so, uh, in, in uh, developing a creative solution so hope this was useful be sure to check out my other Excel Access PowerPoint math, statistics, R, and computer tricks tutorial videos on my channel. Subscribe while you're there and click on our sponsor's ads as you watch these videos. That's what keeps these tutorials coming to you for free. Be sure to follow up on all the rest of these text uh, tutorial videos. Until next time, have a great day.